Hey, welcome back, everyone. Some more Age of Empires, some more learning the Chinese. This time we're up against an HRE player uh, named Wild Weasel. And the map is Hill and Dale. I've seen a lot of Abbasid, a lot of uh, HRE, a lot of uh, Chinese on this map. It's a very macro oriented map since your base is pretty defensible. Uh, so I'm not too surprised to see a Holy Roman Empire player here. Now, I haven't played against the Holy Roman Empire as the Chinese, but we need to think about how to deal with the Castle Age HRE, because they're going to get there eventually. And we'll, we'll produce probably a few archers or horsemen just to... Uh, force my opponent to make units. And I think... Uh, I'm not sure which way I want to go. I could probably send in either horsemen or archers. We'll, we'll see what I end up doing this game. But you got to make something to kind of force him off the gold. Force him to make an outpost here or make military production buildings and then produce units to guard it. You gotta do something to get a little bit of resources out of your Holy Roman Empire opponent. We also need to be focused on these relics. We've got to cover them, make sure that um, my opponent can't just sweep them up with his prelates. Uh, he's got one very close by over here. That'll be difficult to do anything about, but we'll see. We could either put outposts on them, or we can park some units there. Maybe just like a uh, Jugnu and a Spearman. Just those two could do a pretty good job of protecting it. Getting up our Imperial Academy. We're lucky that it's just tickling this mill and it's near this lumber camp. We could probably put another lumber camp right here to process these trees. We both make it to the Feudal Age. I'm desperately chopping because I want to get some kind of military production building out. And I like that I pulled some villagers off of food to get out this quick archery range. But now I need to pivot units back over to food. That or start mining stone because we're going to have a ton of uh, wood in a moment here. Okay, he's walling off there. Probably a smart move. It's going to take a while for my units to make it over to the gold. We're scouting and we're noticing he's got a lot of villagers on wood. He actually put his um, Aachen Chapel near his wood line. So he may be uh, he may be better equipped to defend than we think. Uh, yeah, I'm a little hesitant to go and harass, although we are seeing villagers on stone here. Okay, yeah, it looks like we are going for the stone. Our gold's kind of piling up. Would love to see us research it. And look at that, he's already got a stables down. He knows that he can defend against these archers by just getting one or two horsemen out. I'm going to make him produce them. Yep, there we go. But now we'll back off. If he cancels the production of those horsemen, I'd be very impressed. Second town center is up, but opponent is probably looking to make his own second town center soon enough. Yep, he's back on the stone. Yep. We need to get our Barbican of the Sun up. We've certainly got the resources for it. We could probably put it out on one of the relics. That'd probably be a good idea. Maybe like right here. That way we defend this relic and take these berries. But instead it looks like I'm putting it towards the front of my base. Oh, oh, no. Villager, don't fight him. Oh, lost a villager there. Yeah, it looks like we're just putting it up front in case he attacks, but Holy Roman Empire players, they don't really 
just put aggression on the front of your base. Instead, they're just going to send little squads out on the map trying to grab relics. So really, this is when we should be getting out on the map, building outposts, putting down the Barbican on some of these relics. Like, yeah, I, I really would have liked to see the Barbican out here. Be aggressive with the Barbican. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, I, I think being aggressive with the Barbican against the Holy Roman Empire is the play. We should see an age up come from my opponent soon. We should see me start aging up soon. Okay, yeah, we're trying to get these units on top of these. Yep, yep, there they are. Oh, we should have target fired that prelate down. Darn. There's the castle age. Probably see this relic over here disappear. I'm sure he's going to go for the nearby relic, but it's good that we denied him here. But yeah, we should probably grab a spearman, grab a Zhugnu, and pivot them over to maybe a different one. Yeah, it looks like two just disappeared. One over here disappeared, and one over here disappeared. So he's already got two relics. We're expanding out to these berries. Yeah, we're up to the castle age. Would love to see maybe another town center come out. Just need more wood. And really, we need to scout. Would love to get a scout into his base just to see what's going on. Okay, glad we're getting more military production here. I want to know what units he's going to come forward with. Yep, but they're already on top of us. So we're probably going to lose a lot of these units. Yep. Target fire down the night. But yeah, it's looking like... Um, stables and barracks mostly from my opponent so we're just going to need tons of spearmen and crossbowmen which we've got in production but we're losing map control so these relics are going to start getting snatched up we should either wall them in or we should um, park units on top oh we parked units here but he saw them pretty impressive I think if we had had a Barbican out here when my units got attacked, we could have at least retreated them inside of the Barbican. So that's just another reason why I think we should have come forward with it. Oof, losing a few villagers there, but now we're taking out his scout. And yeah, see, he's pretty smart. He's got his scout with his units. He's trying to see what I've got while he's harassing. Okay, yeah, we're up to three uh, town centers, but look at the gold income from my opponent. He's ahead in food, wood, and gold? Yeah, I'm still mining stone, but it's just impressive that he's on top of all that. It's probably the uh, Aachen Chapel. It's just accelerating his income really greatly. And once again, I'm not producing villagers. I'm really losing my fundamentals when I play as the, uh, the Chinese. We've got to keep producing villagers. The relics have all disappeared. I thought I was standing on top of this one, but apparently not. We're going to find some of these uh, prelates out on the map. We can deal with his horsemen, but yeah, he's starting to get ranged upgrades for them. I'm sending units forward. I want to see. This is the best attempt I can get at scouting. We're finding villagers. He's got relics stored in these outposts. I mean, his gold income is going to just take off because he's got all the relics. He's probably got them all in his uh, base at this point. Yeah, we're just desperately trying to find uh, ways to get more income off the map. So we're, we're taking on the boar. Oh, we lost two villagers there. Do we not have uh, textiles? Oh, we didn't have textiles, I see. Yep, glad to see we're getting a castle down. We're going to put outposts down as well. It's a good thing to defend, although with a, uh, a Holy Roman Empire player who's making this much money. Uh, oh, see, I would have just preferred a scout to run in there. Instead, I'm losing parts of my army. Yeah. So he's getting free previews of my army, but I need I need vision of his. Okay, good. The villagers are coming in. 
Looks like we are turboing out some blacksmith upgrades. That's cool. You can supervise your blacksmith and just pump out upgrades. Yeah, that's great. Oof, lost all my villagers at this mill. That's bad. Now I'm going to have to abandon this right as I got it going. Ooh, painful. Up on the front lines, looks like he's making crossbowmen and man-at-arms. With that many crossbowmen, it's just such a surprise. I wasn't expecting all these crossbowmen. And look at all the siege workshops coming out. I think my opponent is going to be... Uh, Producing mangonels, spring alds. This is looking grim. And just look at the income. He's pulling ahead. Soon we'll see an imperial age from my opponent. He'll get the uh, palace of Swabia and just produce villagers nonstop. Oh, I'm still rallied. I'm still rallying villagers to the hunt. Oh, this is embarrassing. I think this game is about to be over. It's good that I protected this area, but this is probably where I should have built more of my farm or food economy. Like a granary here would have been a lot better. I think I'm glad to see these coming along, but look at these. Some of these aren't even finished. We're not producing villagers. We're only at, I mean, we're at 94 villagers, which is good, but we could be at 120 by now. Cool nest of bees are coming, but there's the Imperial Age. So now my opponent is producing villagers nonstop. Would love to get some kills over here. It looks like he's finally having to get out on the map. So we can at least kill some of these villagers off. That's good to see. But yeah, the keep's already going down because of the trebuchet over here. So we're going to lose that. Oh, there was another boar right there. Okay. Yep, we're getting over here. We're looking for more villagers. He's wisely just putting outposts out on the map just to protect these villagers who were uh, going to be chopping. I think that's really what I need to be doing. It's pretty cheap to just put a few outposts out. As long as it keeps your uh, villagers alive, it's worth it. So now we're seeing if we can take on his army. Problem is he's got a lot of mangonels. Oh, the nest of bees are doing good work against the uh, crossbowmen. And we clean up that initial army, but here come reinforcements. And the bombards are just sniping my siege units. I can't do much about that. Unupgraded archers. Oof, that was huge. Yeah, just the number of mangonels can one-shot my uh, ranged units. And I'm glad to see the horsemen coming in, but the horsemen need to be upgraded. And yeah, now he's just going to roll me over because he's got all these bombards that are just going to rip through these uh, stone walls. He's going to try and snipe maybe one of the mangonels there, but no luck. So this is looking like game over. Well, I think I learned a lot about the matchup against the Holy Roman Empire. You really have to get out on the map. There's no point in putting up this defensive structure just in the front of your base. We need to get out defending those relics. That, and get back to the fundamentals. Just keep producing villagers. Well, hope to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.